back. Be careful. We can't assist you if you're out of range. That's true. I mean, you can't assist me anyways, right? Like, how are you assisting me? So far, I've been on my own. Welcome to the Quantum Lab, Comrade Riss. I'm Riss? Okay, sure. I thought you would have tried to leave this place. Remember that this is not a safe place. Yeah, don't worry. I, I've been able to tell that this is definitely not a safe place. Okay, so we're at the bottom floor somewhere, somewhere. That's not very helpful. Oh, can I open this from here? But no, I can't. Okay. So we are here. Then there's Adams over that way. Okay. And all this stuff is not on the same floor as us or something. I don't know what that's trying to say. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, do we have the right authorization to get in there? Let's check in here first. Ooh, we've got a chessboard, a full chessboard this time. What in blazes? <sighs> Excuse me, can, can someone please take a look at this? Oh, crap. Hmm? What do you mean, oh, crap? What's going on on his end? The quantum entanglement experiments press on. We are very close to achieving something important. Well, you've definitely achieved something. A cosmonaut carved in wood. Why? Why? And now this pawn always wants to go forward. Why? Oh, well. We kind of ruined the game there, but you know, whatever. Ooh, there we go. ID. For who? Sasha. Okay. We got more Red King stuff. Compulsive drawings of chess pawns. Yep, even more of them. They keep drawing pawns, and yet there's the Red King. Why does Why is there so many pawns? Okay. Well, reading this again. Time for something not great that I don't really want to see. Okay, that's somehow creepier than seeing the than seeing the cosmonaut. Can I leave? Please? Okay. <laughs> that's always uncomfortable. Alright, we're going to continue going. I don't know why I keep scanning those things. <laughs> it's probably not a good thing. All right, close to what? We already got documents, right? What do we need to do here? Pawns moving forward in the game. Red pawn is the next move. Quantum lab. A newspaper cut out praising Sasha's research. Okay, so yeah, now the computer thinks we're Sasha Riss. Okay, photography of Sasha and Stas. Sasha's face is blurred. Interesting. Currently, there is sufficient power to proceed with teleportation, comrade. So, did somebody teleport? Did people teleport out of here to escape? Is that what happened? Okay, that's not powered or something? Is that what's going on here? I don't know. Seems to be power here. Right, I'm not going to touch anything yet. But this looks like a teleporter over here. And there's all these laser cannons. Or whatever these are. Flashlights. Searchlights. A booth belonging to a quantum teleportation experiment. Okay. A. Three. It goes between A and three. You add two wavelengths together and their amplitude increases as long as they're the same wavelength <laughs> and they're matching uh, I don't know what the right terminology is for that uh, and of course if you move them by a half step then it'll go to nothing uh, okay so zero and I can't read anything else quantum link tele or, uh, operation teleportation and mental link hypothesis 
And then this is uh, W, I know there's an actual name for that. One over square root of two, one blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's all useless. A Venn diagram of primary and secondary colors. Okay. They're mixing, what are they mixing here? Blue and yellow? They're mixing blue and yellow to get green. Okay. Good to know. Laser redirectional system operation operations diagram. So this is how you redirect lasers. Let's see. Uh, you turn things left and right. And you align them the you align the uh, the filters so that one has nothing, one is horizontal, one's vertical, and then one's diagonal. Okay. And then the first thing is the laser goes through there. And the second thing is something else. Okay, I don't know what that's all about, but sure. Let's check what's up here. But also, what's over there? There's something red. I'm always suspicious of things that are red, but everything's red here. Okay. I don't think I can mess with this yet. This is a receiver for the laser. The lasers need to shine in here, I think. Okay, we are up here now. That's good. This probably won't move, right? Oops. Yeah, it doesn't move. Okay, let me, let me get moving a little bit faster here. I think I need to head back down there. So let me go do that. We'll head back to these power things and we'll see if we can get any of them online. All right. So let's flip this. Okay, that is nothing. Uh, what's this? Okay, something goes there, obviously. Uh, let's scan it. What does this say? Insert charged battery. So that's where charged batteries need to go. That does nothing. These are batteries, but they need to be charged. Uh, and this says something about charging batteries. Caution, unstable material handles slowly. Okay, in other words, don't shake it around. Oh, does this, does this go through? Nope. Wait, which way does it go? Uh, positive side up. Right? Which way is positive? It doesn't tell me. I don't know which way is up. Nope, that's not right either. Is it going this way? I feel like this is almost, this should be right. Unless this is like a glass I need to break. I thought it was just some sort of force field. Or maybe these aren't even batteries. Hmm. There's gotta be something I'm missing here. Okay, this is some sort of glass. Oh, I can open it. <laughs> I didn't even realize there was a handle. All right, well that works. No? Seem to be working. Maybe this way? Oh, there we go, that way. Okay, that works. Ooh. What happened? Oh, we have to handle it carefully. I think it drained the battery by handling it not carefully. Let's charge it up again, and we'll be very gentle with it. Okay. Let's 
Let's try this again. Or do we have to be quick with it? Let's be gentle with it. Yeah, I think I just have to move it slowly and kindly place it into position. All right, good, that's one. Next one. This isn't too bad. Here we go, very gently move it over. There we go. Perfect. Close that up. Turn the switches on. Nice. Full power. Activate. Okay, we got lasers firing. Or one laser at least. And does this move? It does. Let's point it. I don't know where, but let's point it. I'm guessing I want to point it at this thing over here. Probably. Actually, it doesn't, it doesn't aim up any higher, does it? I don't know then. Well, we'll leave that for now then. Let's, uh, let's head upstairs again. And we'll direct that laser at something. Obviously, I don't think we want to actually touch the laser. Otherwise, we'll probably die. Alright. So, we can direct this. The question is to where. So, that turns it left and right. Oh, okay, I see, I see. So we pointed at one of those three things on the wall. So what does this one do? Go to that laser below us. Okay, did that do something? It doesn't seem to have done anything. So let's point it at the middle one then. Okay, now we've got two lasers going into receivers. One is the nothing and a plus, and one's a horizontal and a vertical. Okay. Uh, let's see what this is all about. So one of them want, needs no filter, I think. Then the other one, then the one under it needs a horizontal filter. And then it's vertical and then side to side, like both at once. Wasn't there something like that? Or maybe it needs to match that right now. I don't know. Green. I need green. Actually, I don't even know what I need. What am I even doing here? Let's leave that like that for now. Maybe we need both sides to be matching that four by four pattern. Like maybe I need this to be red, a red plus. And then I need green, but I can't get green. And then blue. <laughs> How do I make this green? Yeah, this can't be green. What? What? Oh, the middle one. I see. I see what the... Okay, I see what's going on here. So 
So in that case, I need to get blue there. I probably need, I don't know what I need. I feel like I need blue to be there. Okay, I can get blue, I mean green on the right there, but how do I get cyan now? Because I a cyan one will need another cyan one right here. How do I make that happen? I need yellow and cyan on the right. So that means I'm going to need to make yellow like that. And that to make green. But then how do I actually just get cyan on the left? This is troublesome. I'll figure it out. So there's different... There's all sorts of different number like, as signatures, signings. There's the red plus and the green minus. But they're like, they're in different positions, in different places. I don't know what one needs to be what. I think I actually might have this wrong. Yeah, I think I think I need to be taking this one and that one and putting it on this. I think I'm I think I'm doing this all wrong. So this probably needs to be blue. Like that. There we go. And that means that this needs to be yellow. Like that. And then we need red plus and a blue. Except it has to be cyan. Darn it, that always is troublesome, and it has to be cyan. Which means I need cyan there. And then I need this to become blue somehow, like that. I think this is right. Yeah. I think this is correct for this side. Then let's try the other side. So green minus. Like that. Red plus. Okay. Green minus. And blue line. Okay, so I've got one th side working. That is apparently correct. Um, I don't know why this side isn't working yet. Do I have to... Is something sn like slightly misaligned here? Let me fiddle with it a little bit. Alright, I don't know why this one's not working yet. But I'm going to continue with this to see what's going on here. So now there is a purple and a yellow. And we need blue and red. Blue and red purple like that and yellow okay we've got the teleporter online I think is that right is that what we needed to do so we're gonna go in here uh, I haven't finished all the puzzles here but let me press this no, okay. So that's apparently not quite good enough yet. I guess I still have to do this other laser. Oh, I think I need to fire that laser there. That's what I need to do. So let me aim it at that. Although it's probably not going to solve my problem yet. Let's go point it over there. Okay, it's already aimed up as high as it can go. Alright, that should be roughly it, I think. Now, let's continue trying to fix this side. I think we've almost got it. I just don't quite see what I have wrong yet. I still can't do anything with this. 
It's just gotta be this puzzle right here. That's wrong. Blue with a line through it. Yellow minus cyan circle red plus. This should be right, right? I don't see anything wrong with this. Oh, you know what? Maybe I have this backwards. This is in and out. In is this side. Out is, 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 yeah, I have this wrong. I have this backwards. That's what's going on here. So what I need to do is make purple go over here again. <laughs> and for this one, I need yellow to be on both sides, so that's fine. So now I just need to rotate this so that it's uh, blue. And I need this so that it's cyan. Wait, what? What do I need? No, no, yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Wait, what do I need? Darn it. I need cyan on this side. I need cyan on this side. And I need blue on this side. It's hurting my brain. Because it's backwards. Then I need red here. And then I need yellow. That's the way. Okay. Yeah, it took me a little bit to realize that those symbols were in and out. So I had it actually reversed. But not too terribly complicated. So now the inside is green purple. <clears throat> so let's make that happen. Green and purple. Okay, purple's not possible. So we need to rotate this so that it's yellow. And make this cyan. Oops. Green. Eh. Green. And purple. Uh, wait. Wait, what? Wait, how does this work? It needs to somehow be purple. But this needs to be... Green, so maybe... Maybe it is cyan here to make that green. And this somehow is purple now. Oh wait, actually, I can just keep it like that. Okay, that works, that works. Um, and then we need purple line coming in. Okay. Nice. Nice, we got it. Uh, let's teleport ourselves over that way. Looks like we just barely missed. I think I just went through a laser there, but it's fine. No, okay, I can't move it anymore, so it's just going to be out misaligned a little bit all the time. Whatever. Uh, connect to the quantum boots. Okay, so I've already connected them. So that's where it's teleporting me, is what it's telling me. So now I need to teleport into there, because the only way so the only way to get into there is to teleport. That's odd. But that's fine. Let's teleport in. Hopefully the red king thing doesn't mess us up. Yeah, maybe that um that spaceman is Irina that's helping us figure out what's going on in here so that we can tell everybody. Maybe that spaceman is actually nice. I feel that's very possible. Is that Nikolai? What is all this? Okay, well, we made it. Can I get out? Please? No? Hello? Um, how do I open this? Oh, is there a button? There's a button. Oops. I'm an idiot. Okay. The documents. Now scan them quickly. Quickly? Why quickly? What's the rush? The only monitor's off is no signal. Classified documents loaded into... Open your mind? No. 
No, oh, I don't think this is arena. I think I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong. Why would arena tell me to open my mind and come up creepily to me? I don't know. And I've already got the, no, no, no. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Whatever this is you want, I don't want it. You got anything else to say there? Can I scan you? I can't. I, I don't want to open my mind. Let me go. Let me leave. What are you trying to do? Oh. You want me to put the pawn in? Why? Are you Arena? Oh, they have a, um... That symbol on them. The, uh, the, 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 the atomic symbol. Who, who was that? Who had the atomic symbol? Is this Sasha? I don't know. Or is it Arena? Who had that symbol? Whoever it is, that's probably who it is. Darn it, I don't remember. For now, I'm gonna assume that that's Irina and she's somehow not hostile. I can only assume that. This way. They escaped. Who? Iri uh, Nikolai and Olga? Yeah, they escaped, leaving the crew behind. Sasha left behind. Then the others come. The others came. So Sasha was left behind. All right. And Irina was already dead and Stav Sas was stabbed. So is this Sasha then? It's because she was left behind or is it Irina who got injected? Keep the secret. Don't listen to him. To who? Who's him? This person looks like an image from a briefing. Don't listen to him. Who's telling me not to listen to him? You're talking about the, the spaceman, right? Is the spaceman a him? Because in that case, it's neither Sasha nor Irina. And I went here by listening to him. Or are you talking about Nikolai him? Or are you talking about the him who's the person giving me orders in my head? Which him are you talking about? You are a pawn. Oh, okay, so I think they're talking about the person who's giving me orders? Trying to tell me that they, we are a pawn? Or are we a pawn of the, the spaceman? An image of a brain. And it's silent. A comms antenna relay ready to transmit. Antenna. So we're heading to the antenna. To transmit a brain? What? What's going on here? Damn it, I lost contact again. Wait. Epsilon? Quickly, you have the documents, right? Get out of there ASAP. Now! I'm trying. Access to upload the classified documents, access comms. Who is who's the thing telling me not to trust? Is it this guy? He seems to be concerned of my safety. Why would he tell me to get out of here now if he was trying to trick me? Oh, great. Get up to comms and beam us the documents from there. Quickly! This is not great. Whatever's going on here is not great. A lot of arrows telling me where to go. Oh, crap. Run! Faster! 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 Whatever that is, I don't want to be touching it. This guy giving me orders is telling me to flee. I think it's right to flee. I don't think I'm doing the wrong thing by getting out of here. Close faster. Oh goodness. What is going on? Is it waking up? What is this stuff? It's starting to glow. Well, we're loading. <coughs> Still don't know who is telling me not to trust who. Is this Irina telling me not to trust 
something? I don't even know. I don't even know at this point. Now, what floor are we going to? The very top? We're trying to transmit? Because we're already at the... The regular floor. Yeah, okay, so we're getting all the way to the top now. I guess we're going to transmit the documents first. Access comms. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I want to take a quick look outside. Okay, so there's Saturn. Got a nice view of it from here. Very neat, very neat. And it seems to be all lit up. Okay. Uh, where's the lights in this darn place? Pond's still doing its thing. What is the pond even going to do? Is uh is that the king or is is that the king or is that the queen? Like is it gonna go that way or something? I don't know. I don't know what it's doing. I'm trying to see if that's trying to t trying to tell me something. Uh, this is multiple section. It's multiple sections. First section, Stalka and three. So this is a puzzle right here in the center. And I guess these wheels probably spin it. Uh, let's let's turn on the light. Okay, we got a comms databank thing. Come on, come on. No, no, no. No. Okay. Give me the thing. The data drive of grieving communication protocols is already in memory. Oh, okay. Sure. That's fine. The security committee stresses the usage of the new satellite alignment protocol for secure transmissions. All right, what's the new satellite alignment protocol? What is it even about? A monitor displaying unintelligible data. More unintelligible data? Yeah. Okay, all of this is unintelligible data. What? What do you got to say? There's also a red king there again. Welcome to comms, comrade. <laughs> Access to this room is restricted to Olga Cry Kraveva. You just don't listen, do you, comrade? Not that you're that you're here. Now that you're here, I should tell you the antenna and comms coordinates are misaligned. Okay. I'm not sure why Olga left in such a mess. Apologies for the inconvenience. Well. I can understand why she left it in such a mess. Is it becoming brighter outside? I can't tell. All right, time for more spooks. This is gonna suck, but I'm gonna do it. What? He's he's grabbing onto where I'm standing. Interesting. Yeah, there's the radar dish. Can I scan from here? No. Okay, that one wasn't as spooky. We've got power stuff. This is offline. Nope. Until further notice, access to the comms room is restricted to the radio officer. Censored message, emergency declared the base, contamination out of control, Nikolai won't take action, help Irina. So she sent a message for help. That's what Olga was trying to stop. Okay, now how do I turn on the power? Let's check over here, I guess. Let's spin some of these? Wait, what, uh, wait, what does this say? Anything? Warning, use both hands to operate the hand wheel. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I think I understand. Let's put the circle in the circle. Okay, we put the circle in the circle. I should probably read what that says, but I'm already spinning it, so. I'll do that at some other time. That's not quite right yet. To 
Just keep spinning. How much do I have to spin this? Okay, maybe it was right before. This is taking a while. Okay, the only way to connect these dots is like this. That's the only way to connect that dotted line. But that means those other three aren't going anywhere. So it's kind of confusing. So I'm just gonna focus on the dotted line for now and try to align that and hopefully that does the thing. Okay, apparently it did. All right, we aligned the relay map. Now we have to align the uh, now we have to align the antenna. Okay. This has power, I think. What about this? Cool. Uh, all right, so this is the alignment of the antenna. So let's move this and see what happens. All right, so that moves it around. Okay, that's apparently correct. It's gonna keep scanning until it's correct. It probably needs to be facing uh, that way since, well, actually it's hard to know. Let's keep spinning it until it gives us a beep. Come on. Spin it all the way around. We're giving it a, a workout. Okay, so that's aligned. And we're supposed to add the waveforms together. I remember that much. There we go, come on. That's close enough, I think. That should be it, right? Okay, find an interface terminal so you can transfer the data from a scanner. Uh, interface terminal, interface terminal. Is this this? Is this it? I mean, is this it? There we go. I finally spoke English. Error. Security key needed. No, 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 no. What happened? Where is the information? Someone better have an explanation. Epsilon? Epsilon? Well, I think we might be doomed here. I got a flashlight. Don't make me use a flashlight on you. I'll grab you. What's he holding? Send documents manually. You give me a pawn? Head to base of antenna. You're teleporting me there? Why is this guy giving me a teleport waypoint? I think this red stuff is bad, but this this I don't know. This person in the suit might not be? It's really hard to tell. <laughs> well, they're definitely creepy and the pond's going even further this time. Yeah, it's going towards the king and the king was there. Right now it's a checkmate. Or something like that. Yeah, sorry, I'm busy going into the depths of hell over here. Don't mind me. This is perfectly normal. Wake up, Sasha, the Red King. Wake up, Sasha. What do you mean, wake up, Sasha? Sasha is... I don't even know where Sasha is. Is Sasha the, the person in the suit? And what do you mean, wake her up? Or are we Sasha? No, we can't be Sasha. 
I don't think. That wouldn't make any sense. Alright, we're running through. Oh, hi. Damn what? It. Somebody tell me what's going on. I've lost the subject. We need that information no matter the cost. Okay, so uh it's firing a laser apparently. I don't know why. Is is he trying to point me over there? And what's with the what's with the music? Is am I racing against time here to stop the antenna from firing a death laser at Earth? Thank you for pointing me the direction, but like, what's going on here? I'm offline. I've lost all contact with the subject. Can't lose this thing now that we're so close. No, no, damn it. What do you mean lose this thing? What thing? The, just the documents? Doctor, Are they trying to create the, the hell is red going on? stuff? The subject is rejecting the simulation. We're losing them. Oh, the simulation? Wait, are we in the simulation? Are they trying to get me to do this? Because I mean, what? Just to lose what's inside that skull. Nurse! Nurse! Are they trying to make me go and find the documents and upload it to them as a way of like uploading the data that's in my brain to them? Are we, are we Sasha? Yeah, we're Sasha and we're trying to wake up because we are in somebody else's simulation trying to upload documents to them about some sort of red parasite or something? I don't know. We've obviously got information in our head they want. Back the simulation to a stable point in time, Doctor. Hell, not on my watch. We've never gotten this far. I need you to send me back now. All right. Well, we've gotten here. But Doctor, the subject is taking over control of the simulation. If you sink now, you'll risk getting trapped. You think I don't know that? I designed the protocol, lady. I know Sasha Riss. I know how that mind works. I can regain control. All right, we gotta do checkmate. Uh, two hands. Uh, what am I doing here? Epsilon, listen up. This is important. Stop whatever it is you're doing. You're jeopardizing both yourself and the mission. Well, apparently we're already Epsilon, captured, so I, I think we uh. To proceed. Go back to the base. I think we're doomed already. Since you guys have have me, since we're in some sort of simulation, we must be already captured. What are you doing? No, Epsilon, don't do it. Don't go any further. It can't be. Nurse, terminate the simulation. Get me offline now. Nurse? Nurse! Time to destroy the Red King. Sasha, do you hear me? Look, we can strike a deal. Stop. No, please. Ah! Well, we killed the Rook, but the Red King's still there. The simulation has ended. Can you hear me, Professor? I regret to inform that the subject, Sasha Riss, did not survive the transition. Are you all right? Professor, you're probably feeling a little confused after severing the connection. Don't worry, I'm here to help you. They're trying to exchange consciousness? Consci- I can't Once even say. Once what has happened, press the button to your left. I'll be waiting on the other side. The button to my left? Uh, wait. Sasha's ghost, objective, killed, evacuated. What's going on here? She betrayed Arena, blah, blah, blah. Something about Sasha's ghost. So are we Sasha right now? Who are we right now? Are we the so a conscious consciousness assimilated what has happened press the yeah, button yeah. to the left. I'll be waiting on the other side. So that's the person talking, but who is the person talking? Is that Sasha? Cuz we're supposed to be Sasha. Slava, comrade. Red mold toxic, they were left to die, blah blah blah. Wait, what? That's the end. I'm con I'm still have I still have thoughts. I still have confusion. Oh, but that's that is the end. Okay, that was an interesting game. Uh, that ending was a bit confusing. I'm not sure what was happening with the consciousness exchange there. We went to go. I understand we were Sasha, and we were inside some sort of simulation, and they were trying to get data out of our brain, uh, probably data about the red mold, and 
there was that spaceman inside of that our i guess our consciousness that was probably ourselves trying to point us into the right direction uh or something like that and we were able to stop the upload but then at the end there there was something about a consciousness exchange was successful or something so that see and then there was also a dead guy in a jar and there was a person talking to us it seems like what happened was that either sasha's consciousness or that the guy who was giving us orders their consciousness went into somebody else and then there was the lady who was up there who was talking to us and that was like the assistant to the guy who was giving us orders i don't know what's going on there uh, I'm, all, I'm definitely a little confused on the ending there um but overall very interesting game I really liked the puzzles. They were all just the right level of difficulty, I think. Uh, the story was entertaining for what it was. Uh, and the there was definitely some creepiness there, which I, I really liked the, the light level of, uh, of creepiness that went along with everything. I think it added to the story, added to the atmosphere. So, uh, yeah. Overall, it was a good game. Um, I, wish, I just wish that I fully understood what actually happened at the end there. Uh, but that's okay. Again, I'm really sad that I don't know what the data drives are all about. Um, I, I wish that I had some some knowledge of what that was all meaning, if I could read those and things like that. But that's okay. It just seems like this game isn't uh, isn't all that popular, which is unfortunate because it was a really it was a really fun experience. Uh, if it was a bit more popular, hopefully, it may, then uh, then probably I would have found some more information on these topics. Sadly, that wasn't the case, but. Hopefully more people will play this game, hopefully, hopefully more people will enjoy it, and uh, maybe that information will, will get out there at some point. Uh, maybe there was just no way to read those in the first place. I don't know. That's about all I got to say. Uh, good game, I like that you could scan things, I like the, the story, I liked the, the, the gameplay, the puzzles. It's all very good. So that's all about, about all I got to say. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.